Welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Morning, girls. What brings in here? Looking for a good book? I can recommend several. Have you got one about the Orb of Lemuria? The Orb of Lemuria. You know that's a myth, Roxy. I saw a sphere when I touched the Conjuring book. An orb is a sphere. Full marks for accuracy. If you don't mind, I've got work to do. You said the Conjuring book was harmless. I did, and it is. Then why did you put it in the restricted section? You went into the restricted section without my permission. Yes. It's a very serious matter, Roxy. You could go on your report. Now hang on, Professor. Roxy's right. If there's nothing special about the book, why did you hide it? This is not your concern. It is my concern. I'm the one who has the magic that no one seems to know anything about. How come you never mentioned this orb of Lemuria? Because it doesn't exist. There's no evidence that your powers result in anything other than you being a Troiling. But Trilings are rare, right? Unprecedented, you said. So how can you be so sure? I will not have my authority questioned, Kyra. Drop it. What's going on? I think he knows more than he's telling. Me too, but why would he lie? That's what I'm going to find out. Find out what? Emma, slow down. We're not going to be late. We should get to the DMI early. It makes you look keen. We're just spending the day with Orla. It's not a big deal. I've been up since dawn researching. It's called preparation. Or is that a new word for you? Ha ha. Are you going to ask for a job? Never hurts to make a good impression. You could have made an effort. Effort? Hmm, that's a new word. You know the real reason we get to spend the day at the DMI? It's nothing to do with us. It's Dad. So? He's an important figure in the magical world. He's loaded, you mean. You make that sound like it's a bad thing. Let's just hope we see some real action today. What is it you're not telling me, Professor? You know what's causing this magic, don't you? Why won't you tell me? I deserve to know the truth. You once said to me that halflings and trilings should stick together. You said you'd always look out for me. I'm sorry I believed you. The orb of Lemuria does exist. I thought it was destroyed. I had no reason to believe otherwise. So you were telling me I have these powers not because I'm a triling, but because I somehow came in contact with this orb? Exactly. Good morning. Welcome to the DMI. Orla, I just want to say what a privilege it is to shadow you today. We are thrilled. Right, Dara? Oh, yeah. Your father's generosity has helped the DMI greatly over the years. I'm glad to be able to return the favor. Make sure you're keeping your toes. There's never a quiet moment at the DMI. As well as administrative offices, the DMI headquarters houses annexes that deal with every aspect of magic, including outbreak intervention, new magical research, um, magical archaeology, human studies, enchantment training. You've and done your homework. I subscribe to the DMI newsfeed. I think it's important to keep up to date. Initiative is what we look for. Becoming a DMI operative is all I ever wanted. There is no higher honor than to be in the service of magic. 
But how do you feel about having to live your lives in secret? It's not ideal, but it's the system we have. It's our duty to protect magic. Dara? It's all right, I won't tell. It'd be nice not to have to sneak around. But magic has to be secret or there'd be chaos. Yes. There would. I am trying to make a good impression. Why did you say that? She asked. You may not give a fairy's wing about a career in the DMI, but I do. So keep your opinions to yourself. The orb is real? And the island of Lemuria actually existed? Until it was destroyed long ago. By a fight over the orb. Created by fairies and elves who wanted to be more powerful with either fairy or elf magic alone. So the first coming together of the two different strands of magic led to a terrible war. What happened to the orb? Some cooler heads hid it to try and end the conflict. No one knew where. Until four years ago. At that time, I was an eager young operative at the DMI. Is that when this was taken? That's Edward Boynton, the architect. Who's the girl? She's a fairy, isn't she? Her name was Giselle. We were in love. Three of us were a team keeping magic hidden. But we were young and idealistic and shared a belief that humans and magical beings could coexist. And as you can imagine, that was not a popular idea, so we had to meet in secret and discuss our plans. We gave ourselves a name. The Bureau of Magical Things. It's the happiest days of my life. Apart from teaching you lot. But what has this got to do with my power? Not long after this photograph was taken, Edward, Giselle and I were sent on a mission. A mission that ended in tragedy. After the summer melt, the orb was detected in a remote glacier in New Zealand. The DMI director, your father's predecessor, Lily, wanted us to retrieve it. Edward said that the orb was too powerful, that it should remain where it was. And you, Professor? It was an important mission, and I'd just been appointed team leader. I wanted to make a good impression, not only on the director, but on Giselle. So you persuaded them to perform the mission? I did. And it was a mistake. I feel we've met before. Lily's told me about you both many times. Whatever she said, it isn't true. She said she's never known anyone more driven to succeed. And that part is true. Oh, it's all to showing you the research department. I believe there's been a breakthrough in a spell to stop snoring. Fascinating. Contrary to popular opinion, being in the DMI isn't all about subduing magical beasts and saving the world. High level magical interference and containing out. I'm on it. Take us? I'm not sure. It's your call, Orla. We won't get in the way, I promise.
Edward, Giselle, and I jumped to a glacier in New Zealand. The blizzard was blowing. Visibility was bad. It was so cold, you could hardly feel your fingers. Why didn't you come back when the weather was clear? I didn't want to abandon my first mission as team leader. So I insisted that we go ahead. Where was the wall? Buried in the wall of a deep crevasse. Being a fairy, Giselle volunteered to fly down into the crevasse to retrieve the orb. Edward objected, but I overruled him. Giselle had begun to dig out the orb, but an earth tremor hit, and she was struck with a piece of fallen ice. I wanted to rope down to get to her, but Edward was lighter. And just as he went down, a massive tremor hit, with ice falling around, and I blacked out. And when I come to, Edward was right beside me. And Giselle? She died. You have to excuse me. What are we looking for? That's what I'm here to find out. So let's get going then. Oh, no. Until I know what we're dealing with, you remain here where it's safe. Professor? I didn't see Edward much after that. His last official report to the DMI was that the orb of Lemuria was lost. I had no reason to disbelieve him. I don't understand. If the orb was never recovered, if he didn't bring it back, why do I have this power? Remember when you went to the architect's house? A child went missing there. Peter thought something weird was going on, and there was. There was a faulty portal in the backyard. Dara and I went through. It took us to a beach. Edward used magic to create that beach. I often wondered how he did it. There was a shack. Edward's studio. That's where he worked on his designs for the library. There were lots of drawings, but no orb. But there was something else, wasn't there? An old container. A container that once held the orb. How did you get that? I went to the beach house. What a lovely place it is. This still retains a residue of the orb's magical properties. You must have touched it when you were in the studio, and it awakened the powers that's already in you. But how did it get there? You said the orb was lost. You must believe me, Kyra. Edward was my good friend. I had no idea why he would lie. Lie about what? What happened? Edward brought the orb back. to stay here. Sean said he's looking for recruits who show initiative. So that's what I'm doing. You knew right from the start, didn't you? Not from the start. I only had my suspicions. Why didn't you tell me? You were new to our world, Kyra. There was so much for you to take in. The orb is a serious matter. I'm only trying to protect you. What are you doing here? I told you to wait. I got bored. What is that thing? Stay back.
get rid of this power. I'm not sure that that's possible. We're sitting in this huge library of magic, and you're telling me there's nothing here that can help me? What is that? Don't get your car! Huh. I've been looking, Kyra, but not much survived the destruction of Lemuria. The records are fragmented. Dara! I saw Dara. He's in trouble. Steady yourself. Breathe. If it comes again, let it happen. Don't fight it. Somewhere outside. We should be at the DMI with Imogen. I can see shipping containers. Kyra, try and focus. Describe what you see. I can see a whirlpool of light sucking him into it. A symbol, kind of like an eye. There's some writing on a wall. I think it's, I think it's Egyptian hieroglyphics. I can't! Stay back! Have to help There's him! There's nothing you can do! It's the Eye of Horus. It's an ancient doorway to the underworld. Once inside, there's no return. How do we close it? Uh... Got it. Uh, an ankh. Can you see an ankh? A what? It's like a golden key. We need to go there and help him. That won't work. Do I won't let magic get near it. There's only one option. Me? Orb magic can penetrate the eye. It's the only way to put the ankh back. Today was gonna be boring. <laughs> How did you get your magic past the vortex? That's just it. We didn't. Someone did. The eye is safe in the restricted section of the library. Dara and Imogen are unharmed. Fortunately, I doubt their father would be too pleased to hear about this. If it wasn't for them, I'd be in the underworld. I think you'll be very impressed with their efforts. But it wasn't just their efforts that shut down the eye, was it? There's only one type of magic can penetrate the eye of Horus. Orb magic. Impossible. No one's had it since Lemurian times. It was lost long ago. Well, it looks like someone's found it again. I'm told I should be thanking you for saving me. Always happy to help. How did you do it? I don't really know. I was nowhere near the Eye of Horus, so why would I be seeing it? I'm thinking possession of the magical orb has made you hypersensitive to magical events. But why? I've never touched this orb. True, but you did touch this. You touched it when it was caught between two magical energies, a fairy's and an elf's. That was when you first got your magic. It took 
that exact set of circumstances to infuse you with the orb's magic. Just like in ancient Lemuria, it took fairy magic and elf magic to create the orb. But how did the orb get inside the book? I believe that Edward couldn't bring himself to destroy the orb, but he wanted it to remain safe. So he hid it in the last place that anyone would expect. In an elementary textbook in the library that he designed. The orb's in here? Yes. Can I see it? Try. Magnificent. 